Ashley Skeva, and it's time for another installment of Just Show Me on Tekka TV, where we take your tech toys and gadgets and show you how to get the most out of them. Today, I'm going to show you how to arrange your import settings in iTunes. Now, everything's going digital, including music, and so if you've got a CD collection that you'd like to import onto your computer, you want to make sure that you're importing all of those songs at the highest possible setting. So let's check it out. Well, once we're in iTunes, we want to head up to the top left corner and we want to click on iTunes and we want to scroll down to preferences. So we're going to open our preferences window and you're going to see your general preferences pop up. And in the very first tab, which is general, toward the bottom, you'll see when you insert a CD and there's some options for you there. You can choose show CD, which will just show you the contents of the CD. You can choose begin playing automatically, ask to import CD, immediately import the CD and import CD and then eject the CD. I always like my computer to ask me if everything is okay before it does something, so I'm going to choose ask to import CD. You can also choose options like automatically retrieve CD track names from the internet and automatically download missing album artwork, which can come in very handy. So I like to have those checked as well. The important part though is the button right next to ask to import CD, which is import settings. So you're going to click on that and you'll get a new pop-up window with your import settings. Now you have quite a few options here and most people are familiar with MP3 as a format for music. Unfortunately, MP3 doesn't give you exactly the best quality for your music, especially if you're importing it for future use. I'm going to choose one of two really high quality ways to import your CDs. Now you have AIFF encoding and you also have Apple Lossless. Uh, for me, I like to choose Apple Lossless, but you can also choose AIFF and we have a great guide to show you what the difference is between MP3 and AIFF in our show notes for this Just Show Me. So I'm going to choose AIFF for today. And you can see the setting is already automatic, so you don't have to worry about fiddling around with little tiny details or anything like that. And what you can do is you can click OK and OK again. Now that you've set all of your import settings to the optimal, most high quality settings, you're ready to import a CD. That's it for Just Show Me on Tekka TV. Be sure to check out Tekka.com for all of our other content and we'll see you next time.